Okay, I'm filming this video for like the fourth time. So I just got out of my first therapy appointment. Uh, we basically just talked about me and how I feel and like my goals and shit. I'm actually quite excited. I'm excited to fix myself, finally. <laughs> thought I'd um, update. Uh, it is two weeks into February. Not a lot has uh, developed. Let's start with how I, like, what I've been doing. So what have I been doing? I've been having this like creative streak on the bass. I've been just writing a bunch of random little songs. Um, they're really <laughs> amateur and don't really have any technique. But, at least I'm playing it, you know, at least I'm doing something. I got some money, I just cleaned um, my uh, older sister's yard. They didn't clean their dog shit for a whole year. So, I got to clean that, that was fun. Oh, I got a new pair of boots. That's also something that's happened this month. They make me feel very nice feel very tall and sexy in them. So I totally spaced um, about telling you how I feel. I feel bad. <laughs> um, I'm gonna be for real. I'm gonna be honest about that. I'm not a hundred percent. I'm not happy. A lot of things don't make me happy lately. <laughs> Everything makes me feel bad, and even when something does make me feel good, it doesn't last very long. It's a very fleeting, fleeting moment of happiness, which is, which is how it's been for a while now. It's been like that since the beginning of the year. I don't know what's happening to this world anymore, especially this country. What's, what's, what's happening? Help. Alright, so it turns out I'm not really good with like, keeping a consistent upload time or whatever that's called. So yeah, February video is going to be a little bit late. Whatever. I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna do what feels comfortable, I guess. And that's it. So I've only gone to therapy twice, but um, it's, um, it's been very insightful. It's amazing when you hear a question about something that you've been trying to decipher for a long time. And once that question is asked, you think about it so clearly. Just after that question. All you needed to hear was that question. It's so weird. I was saying some pretty disparaging things about my body this week, but then I would think about it. Like, why? Why hate on the extra flab when everything functions just fine? It's this that doesn't function fine. That's the only problem. So you're being forced to think about it on a daily basis, I think, is helping. It's a really strange frame of mind to be in, because I personally have never consciously thought about why I was saying negative things about myself. It was always just like, I'm saying negative shit about myself because I fucking want to. 9-11. <laughs> <laughs> That's not, it's not ideal. Today I feel alright about my body. Mostly because I'm wearing a binder now, and it's not killing me. So this binder that I'm wearing right now is about three years old. It's my best binder. It's the, it's the one that functions better. 
I don't know if this is ha like if this happens to anyone else, but I have like a love hate relationship with my binder now. You want to wear it and you almost need to wear it, but you hate wearing it because you know it starts to hurt or it starts to become uncomfortable. You start to look at it and think it's not it's not nearly enough. having some really weird kind of violent dreams oh, yeah! just lots of like punching people I, and like blood like I bit two people's fingers off in one dream and it was there's just a lot of blood in my mouth and it was just so bizarre um, I was attacked by a big burly man with a hockey stick and I killed him you know when a dream isn't like scary and it isn't like threatening, it's just like super uncomfortable and then when you wake up it just kind of stays with you the entire day. That's like all my dreams. <laughs> Lately. That was pretty good. I'm actually telling shit about myself. In a kind of orally fashion. But that's kind of just been the gist of February. Just a lot of thinking. Counting myself hate. I'm not lying about that. I'm not joking about that. My friend thought it was a joke when I said I was going to start counting myself hate. It's not a joke. I do have a problem with my body though, that's very apparent. It's like the confidence isn't there because of that. Because I feel restricted. My efforts to feel comfortable aren't doing me jack shit. So yeah, that's me. take a hit on camera. <laughs> Who was I talking about? <laughs>